Hi everyone, let's talk about pixel trace today. To start, I will click on this pixel trace button on top, locate my image, select it and click open. Because the image is simple, it has no details at all, the program has traced all the necessary outlines so that all I need to do is to click import. I am doing control A to select the whole image so that I can reduce the size. And I'm going to do a control L to create the layers. And as you can see, here are the two layers. Now remember, before you cut, always simply find a path by using Control Shift Z and keep doing that to all the layers, to each layer until it tells you that it cannot be simplified anymore. Now I'm going to show you a second example where the tracing might be more typical of what you might find when you are trying to do a pixel trace of an image. This time I'm going to use the inch by inch graphic set. I'm selecting this bird. I click open and as you can see the program has picked up a lot of stuff that I don't want it to to bring onto the mat. So I need to change the value of the threshold over here and usually I will increase the value by in multiples of 10 and if that doesn't um, render what uh, the layer that I'm looking for, I will decrease it in multiples of 10 and work from there. So in this case, I have found previously that a value of 225, I click apply changes, will bring me, will show me the first layer. I click import to bring it onto the mat. I still need the layers for the body and the base which means that I need to go back and trace it one more time. I select the file again, I click open, and this time I have found that a value of 226, apply changes, will bring, will give me the, the body, the layer for the body. I click import, and I need to go in there one last time. Hopefully this time I can find the last layer and I actually can because I have tried it out before and I have found that a value of 227. Now always click apply changes after you have entered a new value for the threshold. There we go, that's the preview will show you the layer. I click import and you can't see anything right now because it's too big. I am doing a Ctrl A on my keyboard to select all the layers. I am going to reduce the size to 5 inches. And you can see that I have all the necessary layers over here. Now if you read my blog, you will notice that I have modified the layers so that the eye is on the body. And let me show you quickly how I do that. I make a copy of the body. I do a Ctrl C followed by a Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. I bring down this eye and wing layer and I align by right click, align and space, align horizontal center. And the next thing I need to do will be to separate the eye from the wings and I do that by doing a control B for control break and the last step would be to select only the eye and the body and I do that by selecting the eye first I hold down the shift button and I select the body I do a control J and now I have all the layers that I was looking for. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please refer to my blog under a cherrytree.com for the full instructions. Thank you.